This video is our journey moving across country from Idaho to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We'll be showing you our trip and settling in as we get our new home and turn it into our new cozy space. So I welcome you and encourage you to sit down with a cup of tea or coffee as we share our last four months of moving and remodeling. Moving day, last days of July before we set out on our journey. Moving our family and home across country was a ton of work, so much harder than moving down the street or next to town over. We've been moving from house project to house project for years now as we've flipped homes with our sweat equity. We were very excited to buy our first homestead debt free. We knew that it would need work like all the houses before us but that's how we roll and again, how we put value into our home through our hard work. The logistics of packing up a large family and getting it all to fit in a 26-foot van was a challenge in itself. We ended up forgetting a bicycle and a kayak in the side yard, and we couldn't fit our king-size mattress in at the end, which had seen better days, so that wasn't too hard to part with. Snacks and cars packed off, we went on to this grand adventure. So as we set off on our first day on the road, we had a lot of anticipation, excitement, and at the very end of our first day on the road in the middle of Montana, our car broke down, which was a bit of a blow. It was the newest car we had ever owned and was in great condition, so we thought. We had had a mechanic look it over before we left and had some maintenance done, but it ended up on the side of the road anyway. We were pulling my daughter's Jeep, which the SUV had the power to do so, but it ended up that the computer in the car was fried and uh, several other issues came up. We had to tow it to a dealership. Yeah, we're stuck on the side of the road. We had it towed to a dealership. We used my daughter's Jeep to drive to our hotel. The kids were amazing and held it together throughout that long, hot day. And long story short was we could not all fit into the Jeep to finish our journey. The car was going to be more expensive to fix than what it was worth, and we tried renting a van, but there was nothing available, even in the nearby cities. I guess everyone else was on vacation, so we ended up trading in our broken down car and buying a Toyota van. It took a good part of the day at the dealership to trade the car and buy a new one. The dealership was really wonderful to us and treated us so good. If you are ever stuck in Montana, you should check out the Butte Toyota dealer, not sponsored by the way, just a shout out to a really honest, nice dealership. So even though our car wasn't even working, they still gave us a good trade in value and got us back on the road the same day. 
The kids were such troopers. It was hot and smoky due to all the forest fires and we still had a long way to travel. We stopped at a hotel in North Dakota and it had a pool and a slide, which was a nice surprise for the kids. I was happy that they could stretch their legs and have some fun. And again, back on the road, so much new landscapes to see. First glimpse of our new property, we bought just under 20 acres of land with a fixer-upper manufactured home. We knew it needed work for us to turn it into our cozy country cottage. So we got there and it was game on for the last four months. We have been completely remodeling our house. We gutted the house, took everything out, sheetrock, new cabinets, flooring, everything. We rewired fixed water damage, installed our wood stove. It doesn't look too bad in the video, but there was a lot to fix underneath the layers. And we just knew we had to get it done and just take the plunge and demo it right away. It's always uncomfortable living in the middle of the chaos of remodeling, but we have done it so many times and I always tell myself that it will be done soon and I'll love it and also think about our ancestors and how much work they had to do just to move to a new location, new territory with so little and I think, man, I have it easy.
man, all the popcorn ceiling that had to be scraped, oh my. As a family, we got it done. We had to do things in stages because we were living there. Lots of simple meals that fed us and gave us strength to keep on working. When we first got there, I didn't have a washer and dryer. So I washed at my friend's house until we dug out our ringer washer that I've had um, always. I've held on to it no matter where we moved because it's so handy to wash clothes outdoors during the summer months and because we've done this whole remodeling and flipping houses so many times in the past that it's been really handy having this as our backup washer. We found many flowers around our property during the summer and made beautiful bouquets. I believe in creating beauty no matter where you are and no matter what stage you're in in the process.
On the weekends or late afternoons, we would hop into the van and cool off and spend some time in the beauty of Lake Superior. I have completely fallen in love with this lake and it was just always so relaxing to go there after long, hot days of working on the house. This is the road that you'll be coming down. And what I was thinking is to back up right through here. I've already had the septic guy with his tanker. He's already come through here and the propane has been delivered through here. And that's it. That's the spot right there that I want that 20 footer dropped. So we cleared it out and we got it pretty close to being level. It's probably gonna stick out from where the edge of the dirt is, probably four feet onto the grass. So there's plenty of room in the back. We ordered a cargo container as an economical way to store our stuff and remodeling supplies, to keep it dry and safe before winter came, and to get some of the stuff out of the house so we could remodel. Unpacking is always such a mess. This special package is our wood cook stove. I've been waiting for one for years. When we lived off grid 12 years ago, I cooked on a beautiful 1930s wood cook stove. 
but this time around I wanted a new more airtight version. I can't wait to show this stove all hooked up and in the kitchen someday soon. There was a lot of fixing water damage and reframing the closets in the next few shots and a whole lot of hanging sheetrock. So thankful for my son Noah who spent several months helping us to get a handle on this remodel. Such a huge thank you to him. I don't know if any one of you have hung sheetrock, but man, it is such a messy, hard job. I'm so thankful that my husband and son did such a wonderful job on this house. I love that it helped the house get more insulated and it's so beautiful. And it looks so much nicer than the cheap, fake board that was on the walls.
I don't have video of everybody all the time in these different shots, but everyone did such a good job painting and helping and it's just a lot of work to get a big house done with a big family. But it's just been wonderful seeing the whole process get done and getting close to it all being finished soon. It was so exciting when the walls started to get painted. It's such a huge project, but 
when the paint starts going on, it just transforms the place. I decided on going with all of the walls one color just to make it easy right now. I might go back and do accent colors in different areas. I definitely am doing some wallpaper in the bathroom. I decided on the color called linen because I wanted the walls to look good with all of my gold pictures and antiques and I just didn't want a real stark white. You gotta make good hearty food for a working crew and my family loves Mexican food. My husband grew up on it and so we make it all, all the time in all kinds of variations. I'm just making a homemade enchilada sauce here and then just stuffing everything really good with beans and hamburger and spices and lots of cheese and it just makes a real hearty, delicious enchilada for the family. If you've made it this far in the video, I just thank you to all of my loyal uh, YouTube subscribers and that you're just enjoying this video. I appreciate it. Uh, this has definitely been a long video and maybe not exactly my usual but I really wanted to show you guys the process of remodeling and we'll definitely be showing you now the finishing and the rest of the work in the coming videos along with just cozy content, slow living, intentional living and just a fun daily life. Thank you guys so much and we'll be seeing you soon.